So um, this isn't actually the derivation of this. This is more like, and then clearly, so we just did this whole long video on how to do the principal axes um, for the uh, normal stress. And um, you basically follow the same route to get the principal axes for shear. Basically, you take the, the shear, come here, girl. Um, you're going to take the shear thing that's x prime, y prime, and you're going to dd theta of it theta it and you're going to set it to zero and then that's going to give you a theta s which you're then going to plug back into the tau x y prime and then the theta x, or the sigma x prime and the y prime theta y prime and you do all that same thing again um so basically this is where you get this from and then you plug it in again and you get um you get all these other values um so i'm going to link below in the description the location where you can get to that video but um like not entirely surprisingly um sigma x s that's not a sigma at all that's a theta theta s ends up being exactly 45 degrees off from the theta from the principal axes so the principal axis for shear ends up being exactly 45 degrees off so that means some of our um, pluses and our minuses kind of um, rotate. But um, the difference is, is whenever we did, um, whenever we maxed out our normal stress, our tau went away, but the opposite isn't true. When we max out our shear stress, the normal stress does not go away, but it ends up looking really pretty. So there's your, there are your values there. So the maximum of the shear stress ends up being, um, basically that hypotenuse, um, mostly, I think is kind of what that was before. And then um, what ends up happening is the two sigma x and the sigma y end up becoming equal, and they actually just become the average of the two shears that we started out with whenever it was just flat. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'll show you a picture of what that looks like. So like the idea would be like if you had your um, principal angle right there and then you added another 45 degrees and I know this isn't really perfect but if you added another 45 degrees then what you would end up with is your um, uh, critical angle for the stress the critical angle for the stress and then that means that all of your taus are going to be maxed out so all of these are maxed and then all of your normals are going to be the same values, um, which is the average of the two originals. Now there are various reasons that you would need these, um, but right now all we're doing is just practicing getting them in the first place.